Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your smart AI uh, characters that are integrated into survival game kit uh, harvestable with melee weapons once they're dead. So we're going to start by going to the smart AI folder, blueprints, AI, components, then smart AI component. And in the uh, death and respawn events, we're going to drag out from here and do promote to variable. And we'll call this a uh, despawn timer. And then we're going to create a custom event called um, stop despawn timer. And we're going to set it to run on server. And we're going to set it to uh, replicated, uh, not replicated, sorry, uh, reliable. And we're going to get a new variable and we're going to search for clear and connect it up like that. Next, we're going to go to our project settings. So edit project settings, then to the collision tab, presets, and then we're going to create a new preset. We're going to call this dead cap. And we're going to set it to uh, query only. And we're going to set it to pawn. And then we're going to set it to ignore all these trace channels. We're going to set it to ignore pawn, physics body, vehicle, and... Uh, projector and hit accept. Um, you shouldn't get that happen, um, but I already have it in here. Um, but you can see I've got it set up, uh, ignore projectile. Um, so once you've created that, we can go back to our smart AI component. And up here with the component, uh, capsule component plugged in, we want to change it to dead cap. Um, and we're going to copy this name. Um, it needs to be exactly the same as what you named it in here with capitals. So just remember that. Uh, we can copy that. And we're actually going to copy these nodes here. And we'll paste them up uh, here. And we're going to connect them up like this. And then I'm going to copy this name again. And we're going to compile this quickly. Once that's compiled, we're going to go to the uh, contents, uh, survival game kit, blueprints, uh, components, then player inventory component. And you're going to find this event here, the uh, multicast player death. And we're going to paste that name in here uh, to this node. Then after that, we're going to um, compile quickly. Once that's compiled, we can go back to our showcase and in the survival game kit uh, folder, we're going to go blueprints, characters, then to our master character. And we're going to add a new component and this will be, uh, if you search for activate, uh, we're going to add the player activator. Um, this is important for the um, AI manager system. Um, if you want to find out more about that, you can uh, look up the video I've got for AI uh, manager. Um, but it's important that we have this on our master character. So I'm just going to add that. Um, and um, one thing to note, um, in the first video, I get the uh, dead variable from the player inventory component. Um, if you can't do that, you can use this variable um, instead. Um, so once we've done, we've added that component, we can hit compile. Next, we're going to start on our um, dead body harvesting. So we can go to our showcase and we're going to go blueprints, holdables, then to uh, master melee weapon. And in here, we're going to create three uh, new variables. So the first one will be um, can harvest bodies. And the next one will be um, amount min and the third amount max. And we'll set that to an integer, an amount min to integer. Um, so what these basically are, you also want to tick these eyes, um, is whether or not the, me the melee weapon can harvest a dead body. So for the default, I'm gonna set it to true. And then the minimum amount of items they'll get from it and the maximum amount. So I'll set min to one and max to three and we can compile and save this now. Next, we're gonna go over to our um, Smart AI folder. So content, Smart AI, Blueprints, AI, AI characters, then Master AI character. Now in here, we're gonna uh, do a fair bit. So um, we wanna try and make as much space as possible. 
Um, we're also going to want to make um, some variables to keep it tidy. So I'm going to drag out from uh, damage owner and we'll create a variable. We'll call this um, player, we'll call this um, damage owner actually, because that's a bit clearer. And we'll call this um, damage weapon, uh, like that. And we can set these uh, straight away. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll take the damage owner and connect up to here, um, like that, to keep it a bit tidy. Um, and then we'll move it about so we've got some more space. So um, the first thing we're going to want to do is get the damage owner, then drag out from that, do get component by class. And we'll search for inventory. We want player inventory component. And then from that, we'll promote a variable as well. We'll call this um, damage owner inventory. And we'll also need an is valid here. So is valid like that. And we'll actually move this along a little bit because we want to first check if the AI is actually dead. So we'll use the BP AI component and we'll search for dead. And we need uh, get dead. So if he isn't dead, we just want to do the normal damage code. So we'll connect false up to AI take damage down here. And then true up to R is valid, uh, like that. So the next thing we're going to do is get the damage weapon and we're going to cast this to our uh, master melee weapon. And from that we'll do can harvest bodies and do an if and connect that up to here like that. So we're also going to need some new variables. So we'll create a new variable. We'll call this items. And we'll set it to a data uh, table row handle and we'll change it to an array and we'll compile quickly so we can get the default values and so these are going to be the items that we get when we hit the dead body um, you can have more than one um, for some randomization if you just want one just set one item and it will only give that one so we'll select uh, item list for the data table and that will give us a list of all the items. So I'm just going to set mine to apple and beans, for example. Um, and we'll want to tick the I down here as well. So uh, we want another new variable, and we'll call this um, dead body amount. And this will be an integer. And it will be set to variable. And this is the amount of items our dead body can give when harvested. So I'll set this to 10. Uh, you can set it to whatever you like. You also want to tick the uh, I down here again as well. So um, once it's compiled, we'll get our items and we'll do a uh, get. And from that, we also want to get a length and we'll do minus one, uh, minus one, like that. And we'll drag out from that and we'll do random int in range and we want the min to be zero and the max to be this uh, minus node here and um, we also need another new item so we'll create a variable we'll call this um, current item and we'll set it to item s item and we'll compile quickly again Uh, sorry, not S item, we want inventory, item inventory, there we go, and then we'll compile it. And we will do set and connect up to our true value, uh, to true um, pin. And from here, we'll right click on our get and do split pin. And we'll um, drag out from here and do make item connect the uh, ID to the row name. And so we need to get our um, amounts 
uh, we're going to do. So we'll drag out from our master melee weapon and we'll do get min and we'll do get max like that. And we'll do random integer. So next we want to drag out from our um, count variable here and do select. And we want um, this to get our dead body amount. And we want to check that this is greater than our max amount from our uh, melee weapon. So I've just copied and pasted that and we'll connect it back up. So if it's, um, if the dead body amount is more than the max amount, we can use true. And if false, we'll just use the dead body amount like that. So uh, this sets our what item we're getting. And next we want to, um, add our item to our inventory. So we'll use our new variable, which is damage owner inventory. We'll do add item and connect that up. Item into our current item. Then we want to uh, use our damage owner inventory again and do client create a notification. And we'll tick uh, notification image and we want our current item to plug into our item here. Then next we will uh, need to minus the amount we've uh, harvested from our dead body amount. So we'll get that quickly. We'll want our current item as well. And if we right, right click this, we can do split pin and we can do dead body amount minus the count. And then we'll do set dead body amount connect that up like that now we need to check that um, it's if it's less than or equal to zero and if it is we need to then um, get our uh, AI component and we need to uh, stop our stop despawn timer, which is what we created earlier. And then we want to call our multicast despawn dead body. And we also want to um, reset our dead body amount. So we'll paste that here and we'll set it to uh, 10 like that. Um, something actually you might want to do is create a new variable and call this um, max dead body amount and um, we'll set this to an int and tick the i here um, then we'll take it and we'll connect it up to our dead body amount here we'll compile quickly and then we'll want to copy these two nodes and find uh, down here our possessed so we'll just paste this down here like that. And we'll go to our variables and untick the eye on dead body amount. So now we'll set this to 10. So that means that um, when, when our body disappears, it can reset to the normal amount. So once all that's done, we should be good. So um, we can compile this. So a few of the settings, um, if I was to go to say um, our examples and then to our zombies and do zombie, um, I can search for um, dead body. So I've got the uh, dead body amounts, so I can set those um, to uh, the number of items I want to be able to harvest. Um, and then I can search for items and these are the items that this zombie AI will return if hit. If I want it to be something different, I can just change it. Um, our melee weapons, uh, which we can go to our soil game kit, blueprints, holdables, then to say the pickaxe, 
can search for uh, can harvest bodies. So if we didn't want our pickaxe, for example, to be able to harvest bodies, we could uncheck this. And then we could do search for amount. We can set, say, if we wanted the pickaxe to harvest five um, possible max items, we can set that here. Um, so that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, feel free to subscribe and like the video. And thank you for watching.